hi, I'm Morgan. And while I was reading chapter 34 of Mansfield Park, there was a line that really stood out to me towards the end of the chapter. It goes, Mr. Crawford was obliged to move. She was at liberty. She was busy. She was protected. So in this instance, Fanny is in the drawing room and this guy who is trying to get her to marry him has been like basically harassing her and it's just the line she was at liberty she was busy she was protected the end of the line is she was protected so she's seeking protection from this that's i think that conveys like how unsafe she feels in this instance like she doesn't feel safe you don't need pro like you don't need to be protected if you feel safe you need protection if you feel if you feel ill at ease if you feel in danger if you feel threatened if you feel unsafe and so i think if the line she was at liberty she was busy she was protected that conveys i think like the gravity of this situation that if fanny needs to feel protected that means she feels like under like under attack like she doesn't feel unsafe and i think it's quite frustrating that basically she is this character is basically she is in the drawing room of the place where she resides and she doesn't feel safe and i think it really speaks to um like just kind of how frustrating and how powerless like women oftentimes were especially dependent women in times past it's like it's really frustrating like this poor innocent girl who just does who just she doesn't like mr crawford she doesn't want to marry him and yet her relatives are enabling a guy to like essentially chase after her when it's like she keeps saying no she isn't interested in this so much so to the point where she needs to be protected in what is essentially her place of residence like she doesn't even feel safe in the drawing room of her own home because of mr crawford and this is enabled by her relatives and it's quite it's really frustrating reading this book because it's like i feel i feel for fanny like this is a woman who feels unsafe in her own home and it's really frustrating and i think this is a great this book is a great example of like why like b between then and now like how much feminism has i'd say like kind of improved the lot of women because nowadays it's like <sighs> if you, if a woman is being like getting unwanted advances and stuff it's like okay society is much more understanding of that and like there's pressure to like to get men to stop doing that like m nowadays people like i feel like in a lot of ways there's still room for improvement but like the treatment of fanny in this book just makes me realize like oh my gosh <sighs> in certain aspects like women in the early 19th century did not necessarily like have the best of life in certain aspects and so i'm really really grateful now that we're more like understanding of things like no means no like you if someone repeatedly tells you that they're not interested in you like we on i think or at least i think we're more understanding the fact that it's like you don't keep pursuing that person if you keep pursuing someone repeatedly after they keep saying no that's not good you're being predatory and it's really frustrating that fanny is like there there are relatives around her there are loved ones who should be caring about her who are enabling this sort of behavior to the point where she needs to be protected in her own home so yeah i'm just i'm i'm very frustrated at this book and i feel very bad for fanny and i feel very bad for all the women throughout history and throughout the world who have had to deal with being like sexually harassed and stuff so yeah thank you and have a good day